That's a that's a solid 19 inch fish. Just look at it. Look at its body. It's it's built like a Great Lake smallmouth, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing whooped me. Yeah, yeah, and I they. Mean, I'm talking absolutely, 100 percent. I'm hung in your thing now. <laughs> whooped my tail. Holy cow! Good morning, friends. So we're out here on the Susquehanna. Me and my buddy Cody, uh, Cody from out of town. He's a he's pretty fancy. He's a He's a very famous person, and most people don't even know that they've seen him on TV. Um, his butt normally shows up in MLF uh, videos because he's a videographer for Major League Fishing. He gets on the boat with the guys like Jacob Wheeler and MDJ and, and Edwin Evers and all those guys that you know everyone watches on TV. And uh, he gets on TV, but the only thing you ever see is probably his butt or his back or he might be in a face mask or something like that, but this is Cody's first time ever being on the Susquehanna, right? Yep, first and time. And he's going to catch a giant today. That's that's my prediction. River is about four and a half, and it's it's on its way up to five. Um, and I think by midweek it's going to be around five and a half. Um, that's a really fun level. Um, it's it it can be difficult for a kayaker if you're a paddler or, or even just a regular peddler um, because you know it's getting up there in current you're looking at 50 to 60 thousand CFS and that is a lot for this river you know this river is a, a mile wide in most places but you know that's a lot of cubic feet per second coming down it um, and you gotta you gotta realize how much water that actually is the river mile wide 3.5 is your normal summer level and we're getting ready to come up to 5.5 that's a two foot jump a mile across that's a lot of water um so yeah that's where we're at that's where we're that's what we're fishing today but i think it's going to be a really good day we got some mud but i think it's going to be a really fun day they should be eating. so hang tight and watch and we'll see what we can't catch here's what i think we should do i think you should go ahead of me and I think we should work this shoreline up until you really can't see it, but there's an island right over here directly out from where I'm pointing. Yeah. And I think we cut over after that and start working those islands because I, I think they're going to be on the shoreline today. Okay. I mean, just with the water coming up. If you want to go first, go first because I'm going to go the smallest. Um, I'm going to go smallest. I'm going to go top of Okay. Well, I mean, it's up to you. I want I want you to catch them. I'm gonna catch them. All right, I'll go first. I tend to fish fast anyway, so. I would be slowing down. I'll probably fish a little slow until you get rocking and rolling, and you get up ahead and catch the fish. I'll catch up to you. I'll catch the fish. Well, we're gonna if catch them. If you fish fast, I'll fish a little slower. We're gonna catch them. I can assure you of that. The first one of the day right here. He's angry. Fat and healthy, I know that. little one about 15 15 or so
They were, they were wolf packing again right here. Come on. I backed off of them, come on. There we go, there's another one. Do yourself a favor and get over there close to the shoreline and then see if you can find some place that you can kind of angle in and then put your power pole down and cast out into this. Look where I'm looking at. You see how there's all these ripples out here? I see the clear spot. And then that clear spot, they're just busting on bait in there. I've had, I've had five total bites and caught two small ones. So... If I'm not mistaken, there's like a, a little tiny little ledge, uh, like ledge system that butts out from the shoreline up here. Yeah. And I think that's what's causing this current disturbance, but it's underwater right now. And I don't want you to have to sit out here and try to hold in this shit. Man. Sorry. Uh huh? Get one and a half miles <laughs> At a sprint, right? <laughs> I wanted you to get in on that action, man. Oh, dude, you ain't gotta be my river guide. I don't care. Listen, join the company more than anything. I get to fish this river anytime I want. Dude, I got, I got a month to fish this river. I know you do, but I, I want to make sure that the first time is like the best time you've ever had in your life. <laughs> That's always my goal. When I bring somebody like new out that's never been here, I always want them to have like just an epic day. That way they understand why I love this place so much. I'll tell you right now, it's this is the this river is the only reason why I still live here. Really? Absolute only reason I still live here. Come this way. I promise you're going to like him over here a lot better. Are you hooked up?
Why? Need me to help? Yeah, you're in, you're in your back. You still got the fish, dude. Do I? Yeah. Here, pull up into that grass. Just uh, like flutter kick when you get close to it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Still got your line? <laughs> it's a big one too. <laughs> That's a giant dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a net, dude? I got a net. There's just way up there. Here, that, that's too big of a fish to be playing with. Here. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Uh, I don't know what I need. Tell me what you need and I'll grab it. I'm good. That's a that's a solid 19 inch fish. <laughs> Just look at it, look at its body. It's it's built like a Great Lake smallmouth, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing whooped me. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, they I'm talking absolutely 100 percent I'm hung in your thing now. <laughs> whooped my tail. Holy cow. Ow. You didn't get stuck, did you? Okay, this is me not. What? For the tournament? Yeah. Yeah, you're allowed to get out of your boat in this tournament. Well no, for JT's. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, there's, you're good. There's no No, you're you're fine, Cody. They don't they don't have any, they don't have that rule. He's, he's at least 18, really. He's 18. Yeah, okay, 18. <laughs> dude, they'll whoop your ass, dude. Yeah, do it. And he's still got fight in him. <laughs> he just spent the last 10 minutes tangled around a rudder and he's still got to go. She's good. She'll be fine. She'll probably sit there at your feet for a minute. Especially since there's no current right here. Checking to be in the mud, yo. That was <laughs> what I like to refer to as a cluster deluxe. <laughs> so I put my pole down, my power pole down to try to swing. Right. But the current took the nose the wrong way. Yeah. So now I just learned something valuable. Power poles can be good. They also 
So when you said you were going to put it on, I wanted to say something, but I, I also didn't want to, um, well, I'm going to have to turn the nose the proper way and turn downstream before I do that. That's why a front anchor is so important. Yeah. So Cody just got his, his first true Susquehanna smallmouth and, uh, Cody, what, it, what, hold on, let me turn the camera towards you, but what did you say? Whenever that thing you... just completely <laughs> whooped my tail. <laughs> I'm still I'm still wrapped up in my rudder yeah. right now. I basically had this fish. It took me whichever way it wanted to take me. I have no idea how to fish one of these, how to catch one of these fish in a in this current. I mean, it just completely owned me. And somehow it stayed hooked up, even though my line was wrapped around my rudder, my power pole, and everything else. And Jake was yelling at me, go to shore, go to shore. <laughs> and I finally got to shore and had to hand line it in. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was a, I mean, a solid fish too. Um, real heavy, heavy 18 inch, um, 18 inch smallmouth. And you know, it was funny, like he said, he was caught up in his rudder. And whenever, <laughs> whenever he pulled in, the fish was still like surfacing behind him. I'm like, you still got the fish. So, but fun stuff, man. This is what this river is all about. Everybody coming here is going to enjoy this, I think. I'm not going to lie to you. Since Seminole, I've been fishing like crap. And I made a post on social media. And he texted me and was like, dude, you sound like a, an asshole. Yeah. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, don't let this become something that makes you a non-likable person. And I'm like, That's I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I, I absolutely needed that. Way too concerned about, about myself and not concerned about having fun. Just. It, that's what I'm having to do. This is the worst year I've ever had. Yeah. I mean, I don't fish a lot of stuff, but you know, my, my percentage of getting checks is usually pretty good. And, uh, you know, and I don't have to get a check, but if I can put myself around fish that will give me a check, I feel like I've done what I need to do. Right. And I haven't done that this year. So I went fishing with AJ and we went and fished the river. Fish. Ooh, yeah, boy. That's a good one. That's a big one, actually. Get up, my boy. Oh, what? The Did you see that? She jumped straight out of the net. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, relax. You got that crankbait in your mouth. I'm not trying to get it in my leg. Nice. Oh, stop it. Chill, girl. Yeah, she's hooked all kinds of messed up. I had her in the eye, in the side of the mouth. Oh, dude, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, that's another 18. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> the reality of it is, is I want you to have big fish by the end of the day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Long and skinny, what's it gonna be? She is 18 and a half. Right on, boy. <laughs> you can tell she's getting that lighter color on her too from being in this mud. Yeah. Man, what an awesome fish. Beautiful. And she went, went away easy. Some decent fish.
I can tell that this fish has been eating crawfish because it stinks to the high heavens. About a 17 incher. Fat belly. She's feeding. All right, get on back in there. Oh yeah, they're feisty right now. I did not even feel that fish pick this thing up, and it's it's big. It's kind of, I mean, it's not huge, but it's a good fish. Are ready? Yep. That is a healthy, healthy fish right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. This thing is bigger than it should be for as long as it, or for as short as it is, I should say. Look at that thing. Big old fat belly. She's got some lesions on her side. She is definitely eating crawfish. There's pinchers and uh, tentacles hanging out of there. And she is 17 and a half inches. And I would bet that this fish is probably three pounds, three and a half. Like just fat, nasty slob. That's so much fun. I like catching them on a bait caster, but catching them on a spinning rod is just as much fun. I noticed the bite is real soft. Well, that's not normal. Or maybe it's the current or something. Or no. the way I was setting up on them. I don't know. It's not normal. Normally when these fish bite, they, they, they let you know. Um, they're almost like a damn spotted bass. Yeah, um, most times, and, and there was a couple, 
couple of fish I caught today did that where they hit it and just took off. And what you'll notice is the bigger ones will hit it and go right down river. Yeah. Well, one of the fish that I caught, this, the short one, hit it and, well, I mean, I never felt it, but I just saw my line swimming. Yeah. That's, well, that the one on the finesse jig that I caught over there, um, I didn't even feel a bite. I literally just saw my line. I cast it on the on the current seam, and then I saw my line in the eddy, and I'm like, uh-uh, that's not right. So I reeled down, and I, as soon as I got to a point where this line was tight, I was like, Boom, and then it was like, okay, game on. Yeah. But that's not normal. For here. Well, I like I like that when they hit something, they hang on to it. Oh yeah, they don't yes. normally let it go. I mean, I would. Reel down to it, check it, there's a fish there, and then I have time to reel down and set. And they weren't, they were choking it. Yeah, they... The Ned rig, uh, basically pulling out of their gills. If it would have been a longer hook, it would have been in their gullet. They definitely don't waste any time. And a lot of that's because they're looking for their next meal already. Yeah. They should be lined up on this thing. Yeah. yeah. Dude, he came out from what he must have been following it because he came out and just snatched it beside the kayak. Yeah. Little guy. Pretty fish though. 